Here's an application of Euler's formula to find the sum of a series. Our series of interest, I have the sum as n goes from zero to infinity, cosine of n over three to the n. If we replace cosine of n with a one, we have a geometric series that converges and we know how to find its sum. When we have cosine of n in the numerator, it's not so clear how to proceed. So the trick will be, we use Euler's formula to write our series as two convergent geometric series. Now, before we do that, let's first make sure that our series converges. We'll look at the precise sum, and then we'll verify our sum by doing some numerical work. Now, for convergence, we use a direct comparison test. So we'll start by noting cosine of anything is between minus one and one. If we divide through by three to the n, we'll have that the terms of our series are always between minus one third to the n and one third to the n. The series that go with the terms on the end are gonna be convergent geometric series. So our series is gonna converge also. Now, because it converges, we could talk about the sum. The precise answer for the sum, which we'll see in a bit, is gonna be one minus one third cosine of one over 10 ninths minus two thirds cosine of one. If we put that through a calculator, we'll have 1.091875 5, and so on. So let's just check this with some numbers. For my first check, we'll use our direct comparison test. Now, all the terms on the right are positive, all the terms on the left are negative, so the sum in the middle will be bounded by the sums on the end. If I compute the sum for the right side, okay, our r is equal to one-third, so the sum is gonna be one and a half. So our sum is between minus one and a half and one and a half, and we see that that's gonna check out. Next check. We'll just take a partial sum and see if we land anywhere near our result. So let's take the 11th partial sum. We'll take the first 11 terms. So one plus cosine one over three, all the way up through cosine of 10 over three of the 10. So you work that out, you get 1.091873. And we see that we're very close to our answer here. So at least at this point, we should be willing to believe our answer. Now, to get to our answer, the tools I'll need. First, I'm gonna to need to know how to compute geometric series for a complex number as our z. Then we're gonna need Euler's formula for cosine of theta. Now, for a geometric series, the condition's gonna be, if we have the modulus of z strictly less than one. We take the geometric series, one plus z plus z squared and so on then that's gonna converge, and the sum is gonna be equal to one over one minus z. For Euler's formula for cosine, we have the cosine of theta is equal to e to the i theta plus e to the minus i theta over two. So we're gonna take both of these and apply them to the terms in our series. Let's consider each term of our series. So we have cosine of n over three of the n. We apply Euler's formula. I have one over three of the n times e to the i n plus e to the minus i n over two. I can group like terms. So we'll have e to the i n over three of the n is equal to e to the i over three to the nth power. We'll have e to the minus i n over three of the n is equal to e to the minus i over three to the nth power. So I substitute, we're gonna have two geometric series. We apply the geometric series test. So for our z, we're gonna use e to the i over three, e to the minus i over three. We take the modulus, I take e to the i times any real number. The modulus is always one. So we're gonna get modulus of each of these numbers equal to one third, which is strictly less than one. So these are both gonna be convergent geometric series. That means I can apply the sum formula 
So our original sum is equal to 1 half times 1 over 1 minus e to the i over 3 plus 1 over 1 minus e to the minus i over 3. We do our algebra to put everything over a common denominator. And then we apply Euler's formula again. So we have the cosine of 1 is equal to e to the i plus e to the minus i over 2. And I'll move the 2 to the other side. So now I can remove this term and this term here to get 1 half, 2 minus 2 thirds cosine of 1 over 10 ninths minus 2 thirds cosine of 1. And that's the sum we get on the previous board.